Okay, so next we have the arrangement section up here. Uh, so first we have the bring forward option and the send backward option. Uh, so these are mainly used when you add pictures, shapes, or other objects into your Excel document. And uh, once you add new pictures, symbols, or objects, they automatically stack in individual layers as you add them to the sheet. And typically they stack over the previous image that you added. Uh, what these two options allow you to do is to move individual shapes or other objects or group of objects in a customizable stack. So the way we'll, we're going to illustrate this is by inserting two pictures. So first, we're going to grab our picture of our awesome honey badger. And he just looks angry as ever. And we're going to go ahead and add one more picture of our Excel logo. So you guys can see as I added the Excel logo, it goes over the honey badger picture. Now say for example, you're creating a, a logo or a customizable chart and you wanted to have another image over that image. How would we be able to move this image over top of this one? So what you can do is select the image, go to page layout, go to bring forward and select bring to front. So we have selected to bring this picture in front. So what we will do now is hover it over. You guys can see it over it goes over the Excel logo. Now we can do the same thing for the Excel logo. What if we wanted to move the Excel logo over the honey badger? So what we're going to do is select this, bring to front and boom, we brought it to front and you can do the same thing in reverse, send to back. Boom, send it to the back, send it to the back. Um, so let's say I wanted to minimize this logo and just put it over the picture that's in the honey badger. I'm gonna do a select bring to front and boom. We can place this image in here. Now some people use this to create customizable logos or make other cool things with their Excel sheets. This allowed you to make a customizable stack with these two pictures. Um, we can also apply this to uh, different charts that we have. So for example, going back to one of our other illustrations, we can paste the picture here and we can put the Excel logo here. It makes it look very, very cool and very uh, customizable and kind of gives it its own brandability. So the next section that we have is a selection pane. I'm just going to go back to sheet two. Now we have these two pictures here and once we select them, you can see that the selection pane actually hovers. So suppose we wanted to keep them in here, but to hide them, what we can do is hover over here and select this I button. So once we select this I button, it gets rid of the picture and temporarily hides it. So you can hide either pictures you want and then later just display them. And this is just uh, an option some people use. Going after that, we have the align section. So in order to illustrate that, we're going to go back to our graph here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a second chart just so you guys can see how this works. So we're just going to go ahead and create another standard chart. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop it here. Now, some people want all the alignment to be very, uh, very fluent. So this kind of looks sloppy with this chart going in the middle of this one. So another way we can actually bring it uh, to center is through the page layout and alignment section. So what we can do is click on this chart. We go to align. We can do snap to grid and I'll snap it to the grid. Or what we can do is select both of the pictures. So I'm gonna click on this picture, then hold down control, and then click on this other picture. Then I go back to alignment, and then I can click align to top. So once I did that, you could see how this pulled this chart up to the top to align with this one. And similarly, we can align it to the middle, align to the bottom or however we want to do it. Um, now another option is to actually, whoops, let me just disable this. 
Now, another option that we have here is if we, we are still planning to manually align it to this one, to make things easier, what we can do is snap the shape to, uh, or select the snap to shape option for this chart. So once we do that, go to snap to shape. Now what this will do is as we move it, you can kind of see it's snapping up, 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 and it kind of just snaps in place. So what that option allows us to do is to make it our manual alignment a little bit easier. So as you move it, you will get the snapping um, appearance that happens with the graph. And what that is meant to do is just to make your life easier and snap the shape as close to, as possible to the next one. It just helps make manual alignment a little bit easier if you're working with multiple images or charts. And similarly, you can uh, hide the chart through this option here in the selection and here.